Welcome to our broadcast, everyone. I'm Jerry Savell. Thank you for joining with me today. And if you tuned in last week, you remember that I began sharing with you the prophetic word that God gave me for 2020, and it is for you just as well as it is for me. The Spirit of God said to me, tell the people, praise God. You one of God's people? Well, you're a candidate, praise God. Tell the people that in 2020, I will open a new door and cause you to experience supernatural increase as never before. Now, I want to encourage you to hold on to that. The Bible says that if you mix faith with the word preached, it will profit you. So mix your faith with that prophetic word right now. How do you do that? Just simply lift your hands and start off saying, before you ever see anything happen, just lift your hands and say, I receive that. I receive supernatural increase in my life throughout 2020, and I'm praising God in advance for it. That's how you position yourself to receive. Amen? Say it again. In 2020, I mix my faith with the prophetic word, and God is going to cause me to experience supernatural increase as never before. I believe I receive it, and I praise God for it. Amen? Hallelujah. Now, we're looking at Psalm 115, where God promises that he will increase us more and more. Everybody say more and more. Praise God. In other words, you haven't seen all the increase that God has in store for you. So God wants to increase you more and more. And he wants, you to take, he wants to take you to a higher level this year than you've ever experienced before. Now we're sharing this in our church, Heritage of Faith Christian Center. And I'm going to take you into that service right now where we're going to continue talking about this prophetic word. So take notes if possible and just pay very close attention because this message is for you. Watch now. I'll be back in a few moments. Psalm 105, verse 24. And he increased his people greatly. And then verse 44 says, and gave them the lands of the heathen. Hallelujah. So it sounds like to me now, not only will God increase us by blessing us, but now it sounds like the wealth of the sinners even laid up for us. Amen. Amen. And the book of Proverbs says that. The wealth of the sinner has been laid up for the righteous. And eventually, it will come into their hands. Hallelujah. So notice here, God is giving his people the land of the heathen. Hallelujah. I've had that happen. Praise God. Glory to God. Now, Proverbs 115 and verse 12. The Lord hath been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more. More and more. Everybody shout more and more. more. So that means we're not done yet. God's not done yet. I've already experienced increase, but now I'm ready for the more and more. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God will increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to hold fast to that verse. Amen. Get, put your marker in there and just leave it right there. So every morning when you get up, you can open your Bible to that very place and read it out loud and say, that's me God's talking about. That's me and that's my children God's talking about. Hallelujah. I, I, I double dog dare you to do it. Amen. Don't just do it once, but just, just put your marker right there and just keep it there so that you don't even have to Find the page. It just opens right up to those verses and read them out loud and decree. That's me God's talking about. I'm the one who's supposed to experience increase more and more. And I will, in the name of Jesus, I mix my faith with that word and it's going to profit me. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? amen. Glory to God. Now go to Proverbs chapter 11 with me. 
Proverbs chapter 11. I may lose some folks right here. <laughs> Verse 24. There is that scattereth and yet increaseth. And there is that withholdeth more than his meat, but it tendeth to poverty. The liberal soul shall be made fat or prosperous. And he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Hallelujah. Never forget how important sowing is to experiencing continual increase. I'm going to say that again, and I'm not seeing many people write it down. Never forget how important sowing is to experiencing continual increase. Carol and I sowed ourselves out of debt, sowed ourselves out of lack, sowed ourselves out of need. And we sowed when in the natural, we couldn't afford to sow. I, I remember one time when that first airplane the Lord blessed me with. And uh, we enjoyed flying it. It was a great airplane. And of course, it was my first. And uh, I, I just, just every time I got in, I couldn't stop praising God. And then the Lord spoke to me about two ministries that were suffering financially and in the natural, it didn't look like they were going to recover. And the Lord spoke to me and said, I want you to sell the airplane, divide the money, and put it in those two ministries. So I went to my uh, bookkeeper that was working for me at the time, finance manager. I said, uh, I'm going to put the uh, airplane up for sale, and I'm going to divide the money equally and put it into these two ministries. He said, you can't do that. I said, pardon me? He said, you can't do that. I said, would you come with me for a moment? We walked outside and I said, whose name is on the building here? <laughs> Jerry Savell Evangelistic Association. I'm Jerry Savell. I can do whatever I want to do. Yeah. Come on. And you're going to do what I ask you to do. <laughs> he got upset with me. He said, you can't sell that airplane. We need the money. I said, that's the reason I'm going to give the money away because we need the money. Come on. He didn't have my revelation. I said, that's why I'm giving the money away from the sale of the airplane is because we need more money. He said, then sell the airplane. We'd have more money. I said, the airplane, I learned this from Brother Cole, is worth more as a seed Amen. And so I said, in fact, not only am I going to sell the airplane and sow the money, I'm going to sow you. <laughs> I, I don't want you running the finances in my ministry. I can't have somebody running finances who's not with me. We need to be on the same page. We need to both be in faith. Amen? Amen. So I sold him. <laughs> and I gave the, I, sell, I sold the airplane. In fact, there was a, a broker out at Meacham Field that was interested in that airplane before I even had the word from the Lord about selling it. And he said to me, if you ever decide to sell the airplane, I'd like to buy it. Well, I went to him and he gave me top dollar for it. Then I split the money equally and put it in those two ministries. And then eventually, the Lord blessed me with my second airplane. Not only that, but finances to cover us and whatever we needed at the time. Amen. So you cannot expect increase without sowing. Now, you say, but all these scriptures where increase was concerned. Let's go back to the beginning. Genesis chapter 1, right after God said, I will bless thee. Next thing he said, and I will give you every herb bearing seed. And it shall be to you as meat or provision. Notice, when he gave him the ability to supernaturally increase, the next thing he said, now here's how you'll do it. So, 
You can't take sowing out of the equation. That's right. That's right. A lot of Christians want to, but you can't take it out. You, you can't expect supernatural increase without being a sower. Amen. I'm preaching a lot better than you're responding. I've got 50 years of experience. Amen. Like, like Joe tells the story about, uh, what was it, your plumbing, air conditioning went out? Plumbing. And he called to get somebody to, to come and repair it. And he asked the guy that he called, said, how long have you been doing this business? He said, well, I, I just recently got my license. And he said, okay, thank you. So he called somebody else, and they said, uh, uh, I've got 30 years experience. Was that what it was? 30 years experience. He said, you're my man. Yeah. I don't want somebody who just got their license. Right. Right. Come on. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I've, had, I've had people that wanted to fly me. I said, how many hours you got in this plane? Oh, I just got my license. No, thank you. <laughs> Let's wait until you get a little more experience, praise God. Yeah. In fact, one guy, he begged me, oh, every time I'd go to his state, and I won't mention what state it is because he may get this message. <laughs> every time I went to his state to preach, he just begged me to let him fly me to my next place. I said, I'm not flying with you. He said, why not? I said, you're dangerous. I've already heard you ran out of fuel three times on final approach. I am not getting an airplane with you. Not only that, you and your entire family get in that airplane with all your luggage and it's over gross. You're already too heavy when you take off. I am not getting in the plane with you. <laughs> now, Brother Copeland said, uh, one day he called me, he said, where are you going next? I said, Houston. He said, let me fly you. I said, yes, sir. Help yourself. Hallelujah. <laughs> I didn't even question. I know how much experience he's got. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, with 50 years of experience, you can experience yes. supernatural yes. increase yes. if you are consistent in your sowing. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Carolyn, am I not telling the truth? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Come on. If you can't take it from me, take it from my wife. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. We live this way. We live to give. We live to sow. Don't ever tell me I can't afford to sow. That's when I sow the most. When I can't afford it. Why? Because I know that God is not a man that he should lie. And he told Adam, this is seed for provision. Amen. God gives you seed. The Bible says, let a man work with his own hands, labor with his own hands that he might have to give to those in need. Your job is not just for your income. It's so you'll have seed to sow into others' lives. Get, get out of your vocabulary. Uh, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a mechanic for a living. I'm a plumber for a living. no. You're a plumber for a giving. <laughs> You're a mechanic for a giving. Amen. You're an accountant for a giving. Amen. That's, that's one of the ways that God can, can bless your hands through your job, but it's not just so you can be limited with what you make on that paycheck. It's so that you'll have seed to sow and become unlimited. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I told you some wouldn't like it, but nevertheless, it's still the truth. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 8 through 10 says that God will multiply your seed sown. I love the way the message translation says, God can pour on blessings in astonishing ways. God can pour on the blessings in astonishing ways. Can you say amen? amen. So let's keep in mind that God is declaring that he's opening a new door and that as we go through that new door, supernatural increase, supernatural increase is waiting on the other side. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, 
I'm going to go back to Genesis chapter 30, verse 43, talking about Jacob. It said, the man increased exceedingly. And the word exceedingly here means above and over a specified requirement. God wants to bless you beyond what is required. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I'm preaching myself happy. I don't know what I'm doing for you. Exceeding above and over a specified requirement. It also means surpassing what is needed. Surpassing what is needed. That sounds like Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. The Amplified Version says, Now unto him that is able to do super abundantly far over and above all we dare ask or think infinitely beyond our highest prayers, highest desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. In other words, if you can dream it, God can do it bigger than that. If you can think it, God can do it bigger than that. If you can hope it, God can do it bigger than that. That's the God we serve, hallelujah. The message translation says, God can do anything you know far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams, hallelujah. Glory to God. Are there any dreamers in here today? God can do it above and beyond your highest imaginations, dreams, hopes, requests. How big can you imagine? How big can you dream? Well, God is able to do it bigger than that. Can you say amen? amen. Look at your neighbor and say, don't limit, God. don't limit God. And how do we limit God? We've talked about it in the past through negative thinking, and negative talking or small thinking and negative talking. Don't look at your circumstances in light of your own ability. Look at them through the knowledge that God is able to do far more than what you can think. If you focus only on what you can do, then you're going to probably faint in your mind. Give up in despair. But Jesus said, Matthew 19, 26, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. The message translation says, no chance at all if you think you can pull this off by yourself. But every chance in the world if you trust in God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm trusting God. I'm trusting God. Say, I'm trusting God to bring supernatural increase into my life and I'm decreeing nothing is impossible and give him another good shout praise God <clears throat> amen you know the apostle Paul talks about the importance of being selective about what you allow in your mind think on good things think on things that are of good report in other words think on the word cast down every imagination that attempts to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. James 4, 7 says, uh, resist the devil and he will flee from you. And one of the ways that you resist him is by casting down the thoughts that he puts in your mind and particularly about this can never happen to you. Who do you think you are? You're not Kenneth Copeland. You're not Jerry Savelle. You're not Justin Bridges. You're not this one. You're not that one. Who do you think you are? Well, tell him, well, just how much time you got. I'll tell you who I think I am. I'm what the Bible says I am. I can do what the Bible says I can do. I can have what the Bible says I can have. Amen. Luke chapter 4, verse 8. Jesus did not resist the devil by standing up and saying, I'm the son of God. Get thee behind me. He said, get thee behind me for it is written. How did he resist the devil? By confessing 
and decreeing the Word of God. And that's exactly how you and I do it. He's our example. He was quoting what the Word of God says. And in this particular case, he was quoting out of the book of Deuteronomy. The Bible says in Romans chapter 4, regarding Abraham, he staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform. Can you say amen? I'm fully persuaded. Used to be an old country western song called Almost Persuaded. No, this is fully persuaded. I'm fully persuaded that God is able to bring supernatural increase into my life into my ministry beyond anything we've ever experienced before. And folks, we have indeed, this ministry has indeed this year experienced marvels, wonders, and extraordinary manifestations. Hallelujah, of the, of the greatness of our God. And I'm not giving up on that. The year's not up. I'm just adding to it and supernatural increase beyond anything I've ever experienced before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody want to shout with me for a moment? Glory to God. Do you, do you have any idea? I mean, our ministry takes in millions annually. Millions annually from partners and friends from all over the world. And when I get my financial statements every month, over the last several months, Accounts payable, zero. That's unheard of in a ministry like this. I can remember way back, accounts payable. I didn't want to look at it. I can hardly wait for them to put that financial statement in my hand now. In fact, I'm asking for it early. <laughs> zero. That is amazing. That's unheard of. Glory to God. And when I look into what I call my surplus or my historic house account. Come on. Hallelujah. And we're not hurting. Come on. And when I look at my giving, oh my goodness, it's far exceeding what previous years have been. And we're on track right now to, to do even greater than what we had anticipated, praise God. That's marvelous. That's wonderful. That's extraordinary. Hallelujah. Yeah, but why is it happening to you? Because I'm a believer. <laughs> if you have faith, Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Can you say amen? amen? And God's no respecter of persons. But I can't do you believing for you. I can share the word with you. Hopefully uh, encourage you, inspire you. But I can't do you believing for you. You're going to have to do that on your own. The God you serve <clears throat> wants to bring supernatural increase into your life. He's able to do it, and all he's asking is, give me your faith. Give me your faith. Dare to believe that I can do this and that I can do it in ways that you could never dream of. What if God wants to bless you beyond your own natural abilities? The prophetic word for this year declares, God is opening a new door in 2020, and you'll experience supernatural increase beyond anything you've experienced before. Today's special package includes Jerry Savelle's new prophetic teaching, 2020, Year for Supernatural Increase on CD, and his powerful book, Increase God's Way. This special package will help you develop a new vision for supernatural increase. As we step into this new decade, don't be limited by your own strength, ability, education, or skills any longer. Supernatural increase is your covenant right. And now's the time for you to experience a greater manifestation of God's blessing. Call or go online now to jerrysavelle.org and request your copy of the Supernatural Increase Special Package. 
Don't wait. Begin today to strengthen your faith and fully expect to prosper, increase, and rise above every adversity. Don't forget now, we're going to continue this study on next week's broadcast, 2020, the year of supernatural increase beyond anything you've ever experienced before. Now, before closing today, I want to remind you of our special offer, three CDs on this subject, Supernatural Increase. That's the prophetic word for 2020. God wants to bring increase into your life like never before. And then also right along with it, my book that I wrote a few years ago, Increase God's Way. It's a powerful little book that has much revelation knowledge in it, and I know that it will inspire your faith. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So you need to feed your spirit man every day on the Word of God. You know, if you're watching CNN and other broadcasts, you can get down, you can get discouraged, you can, you can uh, uh, think everything is hopeless, but thank God we have the Word of God. We have faith building resources, and that's what it's for, to keep your faith at its highest level. So I want to encourage you to place your order for these resources right away and we'll get them to you in the mail just as quickly as we possibly can. Now, there are a lot of people that are already experiencing supernatural increase. I mean, people are writing into our office and giving testimonies. Here's one that said uh, they had been believing God for a RV. These are ministers, and uh, they wanted to have an RV to travel in, and they said it was going to take about $178,000, $128,000 rather, uh, and they didn't have quite that amount, so they decided to sow a seed, and they sowed a seed into our ministry, and praise God, not only did they experience a supernatural increase, but they were able to get this RV for $78,000. That's the favor of God, praise God. That's a blessing from heaven, and they're already experiencing. Here's another one that says, I received uh, uh, $1,000 from a debt reduction and a debt cancellation after sending into your ministry a $100 seed, and we're praising God for the increase that we're already experiencing. And then here's one from a lady by the name of Anna. She said she was two days away from eviction, but uh, she says, God came through for me, and God not only caused me to have a miracle, but he gave us tremendous assistance after I got to speak with some people that were in charge. And when I left, the check was in the mail and the rent was paid. Hallelujah. So thank God for that, Anna. We rejoice with you and we believe that there's more to come. God said, increase more and more. Believe for it. We'll believe with you. Be sure and join me next week as we continue this study. And until then, remember, your faith will overcome the world.